most of the patients of lumbar microdiscectomy are able to go home within few hours of surgery. Once the surgeon and the patient have decided that this patient is now going to need lumbar spine surgery for relieving the sciatica pain, usually the patient is presented with multiple approaches for removing the herniated disc like open discectomy, lumbar microdiscectomy, laser discectomy and endoscopic discectomy which often confuses the patient. Today in this video we will learn what exactly is lumbar microdiscectomy. Lumbar microdiscectomy has established itself as the gold standard for removing the herniated portion of the disc that is compressing the nerve root. Because it is minimally invasive, has a very quick recovery, has a track record of very high success rate, in fact the highest success rate of all the approaches, has a long proven medical record and gives reproducible surgical results. Lumbar discectomy or microdiscectomy is usually performed under general anesthesia. We have already done MRIs and X-rays and localized the portion of the disc which is herniated. In lumbar microdiscectomy, a 1 to 1 and half inch incision is made in the midline directly over the area where the disc has herniated. The muscles are usually elevated, not cut. They are elevated from the bone from one side. Once we elevate the muscles, we reach the bone which is known as lamina. A small window is made in this lamina and a microscope is brought into the picture or we use surgical loops so that we see magnified view of the entire spine. Once we remove or make a small window in the bone, we see a tissue known as ligamentum flavum. That ligamentum flavum tissue is removed and we see the spinal nerves. Now in lumbar microdiscectomy, the first thing we do is we identify the nerves and protect them with our instruments. Once the nerves are protected and retracted to one side, we see the herniated portion of the disc which is compressing the nerve. We make a small nick because this disc material is under pressure. Immediately after making the nick, the whole material comes out and we grasp it with a grasper or a disc forcer and remove it. We make sure that the nerve is completely free from any compression under the microscope. 